Hey everyone, today we're going to go over uh, looking at confidence intervals uh, using a web link uh, that's linked to my website. Um, and uh, we're going to do this with Queso. So uh, let me just kind of go over the example with you first. Um, share my screen with you here. This is a repeated measures ANOVA uh, looking at uh, uh, changes in marital satisfaction across 30 participants uh, at just married five years, 10 years, and 15 years. Um, we're going to run this uh, repeated measures ANOVA right here. And, uh, you know, we're just going to uh, name our factor marital satisfaction uh, over time. And uh, we'll do uh, just married. Five years, 10 years, and uh, 15 years. Oh, crap. Okay. And uh, from here, we'll uh, put in our variables here. Jasper has already run it. Um, uh, but and before we go further, um, let's make some queso. So uh, uh, let's get our ingredients uh, from the fridge here. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to use uh, this stuff right here. Here, I'll just uh, quit sharing my screen here so you can see. Yeah, I'm going to uh, just use this right here. And uh, you know what? We're in quarantine. Forget heating it. Just uh, dip your chip in there and. Delicious. Um, I have some queso on my finger. I need to wash that off here and uh, just make sure you wash for, uh, for 20 seconds. How do you know if it's 20 seconds? I'll show you how you know it's for 20 seconds. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no one has gone before. All right, and you can sing the song if you want. Uh, I'm gonna miss that part. There we go, and uh, it's about 20 seconds there, and uh, let's, uh, we've had our queso, we've washed our hands. Let's, uh, let's get back to uh, our uh, ANOVA here. So um, here we are. So. Um, we want to uh, take a look at our results here and we go, okay, uh, let's check the sphericity assumption. Um, we can see that our sphericity assumption is uh, significant. So a nice conservative correction is the uh, greenhouse uh, geyser correction. Um, I also like to uh, look at um, uh, descriptive statistics and estimates of effect size. I like to use partial weight of squared. And uh, here we see, oh, we do have a statistically significant effect. Here's the uh, partial weight of squared accounting for 21% of the variance in the model. And then uh, uh, just to, if you wanted to uh, uh, look at um, the, uh, uh, post hoc test, you could run a post hoc test across marital satisfaction over time. You can produce confidence intervals in a Cohen's D. I like to use the Bonferroni adjustment here. And uh, there's, our, uh, there's our statistics here uh, with our Cohen's D and our Bonferroni uh, adjusted p values to identify statistical significance. But the main goal here was to say, okay, is, the, is my effect size stable? What is the stability of my effect size uh, here at 21% of the variance accounted for? That's a large effect, isn't it? Well, what we can do here is if you go to my website um, at uh, research Balkan, uh, balkanresearchmethods.com, uh, I have a link here. That this is a great uh, resource for looking at stability of effect sizes. Um, so effect size calculators with confidence intervals and click on there. And this, uh, um, this is done by uh, 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 
a, a, uh, an individual over at uh, uh, Ohio State University, um, James uh, Umbaro, uh, or Jan Baro. Um, and, uh, you know, what he has here is that you can put in your, uh, your values and get the confidence intervals for effect size. Take, for example, our F value was, what was it, 7.664? Yeah. And um, here was our adjusted degrees of freedom for the greenhouse geyser effect, 2.094 and 60.179. Let's put those values here and uh, move this over just a little bit so we can see everything. Um, there we go. So our F value was 7.664. Our degrees of freedom was uh, 2.094 and, uh, and uh, uh, 60.719. And uh, um, he's recommended a 90% confidence interval if you have an alpha level of point. Uh, but if you wanted to adjust it to 95% confidence interval, you could. So, and then you click on calculate, and uh, you can see that our effect size ranges from, uh, our partial eta squared is going to range from uh, 0.043 to 0.35, to 0.3, uh, to 0.36, you know, so 0.04 to 0.36, basically. Um, you can see our partial eta squared here matches 0 0.209, matches what uh, we have in JASP. But this is nice to know because this means that our effect size could range from small to large in this case. We might have, a, 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 you know, we, right now we have a, an effect size of 20% of, uh, of, uh, or 21%, but it could range from anywhere from 4.2% to 35.8%. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of instability here. If you were to do the study again with a similar sample, you might have a small effect, you might have a large effect. And so uh, that's a good resource to know. Uh, regardless of whether you have a small effect or a large effect, at least you have good queso. So uh, anyway, hope this tutorial helps. Have a great one.